or, or Bob Ke- I would have a friend do it because to me it just it seemed less phony than this than a priest doing. I'm like, what are you gonna give me a real ceremony? I want a fun ceremony. You, like you, should, fun. Get, you should get Dude. a random street hooker. Get her, <laughs> get her fucking or so him, whatever you want to call it. Just to kind of come in and read, but you would yeah. know wouldn't be legal in the state, or I would. You got uh, your rings. Yeah, dude. You know what, dude? <laughs> you fucking got your ring. You got your love. You got your commitment. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you know, anyone that thinks this uh, union shouldn't be, you know, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. Stand up. Yeah, I don't know if I can have Bob do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't be all schmarmy. Just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> what is he trying to like get uh, the tax deduction for riot cast at the church? <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. see that. I yeah, see that. Church of Bob. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I would have Tom do it. I would I would have Tom or, or Bob Kelly or somebody I know do it or, or fucking Modi, one of my comedian friends. You know, just somebody who w- it would be more fun that well, way. Uh, obviously, wouldn't be in a Catholic church. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, Modi is a, uh, a, a Jewish guy. A Jewish fellow. <laughs> Modi would be a perfect. Moved him over uh, Carson style. Yeah, for a huge super superstar. That's right, Colin Quinn. Colin. Who's playing Caroline's this to be weekend? Sarcastic, Bob? Nah, I wasn't until I said superstar. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I get a straight shot at Opie now. This is what I like. All right, very 212, good. 212, Caroline's number is 212 757 4100. Are I'm you there through Sunday or just through Saturday? Yes, I'm doing a portrait right now called Tibetan Lesbian on Couch. <laughs> 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 he made fun of you again. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> he got he got slammed before uh, the show even started, uh, before the show came back from break, because Colin was coming in, and we told Bob, look, you're going to have to go to the couch, because Colin's coming up to the mic. It's like Carson, well, you know? Right. The new guy comes in, yeah. so, so then he had to move to the couch. So then uh, Bob tried to get you, Colin. He sits down on the couch and goes, why don't you put Fatso on the couch? And without missing a beat, Jimmy goes, we just did. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be honest, guys. Yeah, let's look at hysterical. Let's be honest. Colin put on a few pounds. <laughs> I Colin? put on a few. Did yeah, of course I did. But, like, I'm a person that, that got fat. Yeah. I'm not a person that is fat. <laughs> <laughs> Bob should be, like, you know, throwing a spear at a whale. In like <laughs> Manitoba. You, you look like my Aunt Peggy, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> on, on. <laughs> yeah, you look like a middle-aged housewife. <laughs> no Colin what? looks the yeah, same as he did when I saw him. Yeah. He's whipping huskies on a sled look right now. Look at the size of his head. <laughs> <laughs> look at your head. At least I have, a, I have my hair left. You look you like don't, a, I'd rather have you look like the, you, look like the, you look like the fat mosque in Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunni insurgent's going to blow up the mosque. You look like the Queen of England. <laughs> 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 you know what I love about this? Colin has your number. <laughs> oh, he has your number. Colin has every. He, I, he has a lot built up. Let me tell you, he has a lot <laughs> built up. I, I, I will say that uh, Bob can be pretty, pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. We've seen oh, it. yeah. Not We've necessarily seen it. amusing. But, but, but <laughs> just <laughs> brutal. No, yeah, Bob's the guy that goes too far. Like you had no filter guy on here. You know, he's the greatest. <laughs> hey, Steve, he's the greatest. He's the greatest Bollywood uncle in the Bollywood musical. <laughs> Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore. Uh, will Bob be appearing anywhere at Mohegan Sun besides in front of the buffet? <laughs> oh, you know what? Fuck you, Obi. Go fuck yourself. Hey, you're supposed to coast. Hey, hey. Sorry. Hey. We're about He's 45 a minutes from that, my are. friend. Oh, sh- oh, you can't do that? No, now? we can't do that. And now you wrecked Stephen S.'s uh, great line because you cursed at me. Uh huh, Stephen S., I wrecked your line. You, can, you curse when you're uh, selling rugs to tourists in Istanbul? No, <laughs> so don't do it here. Uh, and no, and <laughs> Stephen, look, Quinn's not, Quinn's not, Quinn's not like Voss where he's going to. He's going to uh, throw it a, a stinker. Yeah. He's just going to have nine of them. He sounds like them. He mumbles like them. At, Mo- <laughs> at Mohegan Sun, don't get upset when you walk by and hear people go, Tatonka. <laughs> Tatonka. <laughs> Why is everybody beating up on Bob? Yeah, leave him uh, alone. Why Dude. do you think? Yo, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, you're enjoying you're it just, more than anyone. Oh, but that's 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 yeah, but that's Jimmy's pause because he's got a good one coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Also, um, uh, from someone's cell phone, Man Cow, the official radio show of the Lewis and Clark Trail. <laughs> That's very, very good. He's in all these cities that are just like, they were hot spots in 1850. <laughs> Deadwood. So all the, yeah, he's in Deadwood. When the gold rush was happening. It's great. Yeah, I'll be in, uh, up in the uh, Pacific Northwest <laughs> uh, trying to find a new route. <laughs> hey, uh, let's say hi to Jeff in Jersey. Jeff, what's going on? Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. I, uh, Bob, uh, I was the guy who bought you breakfast on Wednesday, Newark Airport. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that was a good, man. Good, buddy. What, did your credit card company call up <laughs> and think it was stolen? <laughs> I was having, I was having a really nice breakfast. Yeah. I was having. Tell him what I was having. We only got 45 minutes left on this side of the show. <laughs> right. I got this huge breakfast plate, and it cost me seven dollars with the tax and the tip and the coffee and the juice and the whole thing. So I went to the guy at front. I said I want to buy this guy breakfast. So I take out a ten dollar bill for you, and that should cover it. It's like eighteen dollars. That's the guy's Was it eighteen dollars? I ordered fruit, cottage yeah. cheese. Uh, I ordered like uh, a couple eggs over. I ordered like a special type of dietary meal. <laughs> <laughs> special <laughs> dietary <laughs> meal. Was taking up the whole hour over there. Yeah. Yeah, well, thanks for the nice gesture. I hope I see you at the airport again. I'm going to throw eggs at your face. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, instant feedback from Gutshot Drew. The morning hole has dirty. We were talking about Eric and Kathy up there yep. in Chicago, just wrapping that uh, talk up. The morning hole has dirty, dirty thoughts about pseudo over aggressive tank while she's bedding her henpecked, whipped husband. Yep, the fake husband. Colin, you've done those radio shows, right? Uh, yeah, I've done them all. The guy and the girl, they act like they're a Still couple for six, some reason. Six seats at the show. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were a couple. I don't even think I was invited on Eric and Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they act like they're married and a couple, and Sometimes then the guy will married. say something. And I find that when me and the other soccer moms are driving our minivans, we like to have something we can identify with. like listening to that and go, oh, this is good. Fight. And it teaches you how to yeah. get along and suffer silently through your awful marriage. <laughs> <laughs> You don't drive the machine the side of the school yeah. or anything. Yeah. The guy talks about mowing the lawn, and she goes, oh, and you always do it wrong. Well, hon, hide you. Why don't you get out there and give it a try, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Right now, just I, I just feel waiting like for one of those shows to snap. That would yeah, be just lose their mind. the best. I feel like I'm in the basement with my five uncles when they used to make me just sit there and get them beers and open them and... Why? What else did they make you, you do? <laughs> yeah. The Bob's couch having a mood swing. The, <laughs> the I'll tell you why, too. If you want an analysis of Bob, not it's, be, it's not beat up on Bob Day. Yeah. It's just Bob's dream is, which I figured out, is to be like a guy, like a Budweiser commercial with a bunch of friends, and they sit around and have a few laughs on the weekend. He wants to live that Eric and Kathy life. Really? Yep. But he's so twisted. But he, yeah, he doesn't realize, yeah. like, after six years... Hi, neighbor, and his neighbor's a normal one who's going to accidentally run over like his seed feeder or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then they see the guy's got like pruning shears in his eye because <laughs> Bob turns on him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't think Bob could make a good neighbor? <laughs> yeah. He'll pull it off for a while, but then, yeah. yeah. Hey, how you doing? Like talking over the hedge to his neighbor. Right. And then after a little while, like one thing goes a little wrong. Yeah. And Bob just loses his mind. Yeah, because Bob breaks into the house and kills his family. Yeah, he'd love like all of us, like Norton, Patrol, all of us to be over at each other's house laughing, watching Sports Center. Clinky. Hey, Clinky I hope the ladies laughing. let us get away with this. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with having friends? Oh, no, I hope the wives don't hear us down here. That'll brew the fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it is you. You want to live the American dream, and you're not fit for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. On two levels. <laughs> you actually look like you lost weight. I'm not, I'm not teasing. <laughs> he think, do you I think I'm really going into that Don't softball? fall for it. I, <laughs> think, <laughs> dude, I may be taking a pounding, Norton, but I'm not, <laughs> yeah. a, I'm not no, that that's right. stupid. That's right. I'm not you kind of look like a little... Norton, like, don't you How fat is he? <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> even kidding. You look like you lost... I'm not even Shut up, you lying body stocking <laughs> build. Oh, no. Yeah, you, you, you really do look like an unfinished clone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be helpful. Oh, no, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Larva, so you shut up. <laughs> Norton reminds me of Larva, and I don't even know what that looks like. It's just a name. Larva. He does. He looks like he should be James Larva Norton. He looks like he should be eating his way out of an apple. <laughs> Hurtful. <laughs> just sitting there being oh, yeah. hurtful. I can't just give his friend a compliment. I he know. tried to help him and support him. Yeah. Pick him up out of the dumps. <laughs> That's exactly what he would do to that neighbor, too. I have no doubt that he's oh, psychotic, yeah. this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. When yeah. it comes right down to it, like Bob Kelly will get some things done. His neighbor would look to. over the hedge and Bob's walking away, and then, like, he sees below Bob's head, Bob's nude and covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim. Uh, it's funny. What <laughs> yeah, hey, happened? Yeah. <laughs> Ass and his <laughs> stupid feet pointing out to <laughs> balance out the rest of that. Bob Nude looks like a fat Vanessa Manila. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, are you ready for the update? Finally. Oh, the update. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Remember the 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 the, the girl at Six Flags? Losing yeah, the one feet? that lost her feet. Yeah, an update. You hear this story? No. no. You haven't read a newspaper, huh? Well, you know, I've been out on the road. <laughs> 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 I look at the local paper. What's the bad neighborhood? <laughs> Where do the gays hang out? <laughs> I really hit him in the show that night. <laughs> hey, this guy's from Sperlingtown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 you know where to go after the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Colin's on the bus puffing a cigar through a hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin Quinn at Caroline's all weekend long, starting tomorrow night. Yeah, this oh. girl's feet got cut off. It was a great, like, uh, a yeah. Six Flags in Kentucky, and she was on a ride, and both of her feet got ripped off. The it was a ride. I can lend it to yours, Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Not that many to spare. Yeah, yours just broke back. I would love to know how to get ripped off. <laughs> she, uh, she was on this Superman ride where they sit in this uh, circular thing and their feet dangle over the edge and it gets lifted up to about 250 feet and then kind of free falls until you're about 20 feet from the ground and then, you know, the brakes come on. Right. And they hoisted them up to 250 feet and this cable kind of snapped and actually wrapped around her feet. Oh my God! And ripped her feet off, oh. both feet. Just both. And she feet. lived. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and both feet just kind of tumbled 250 feet to the ground, which I always think is the the reason, like they could reattach it until it hits the ground, and then you got two broken feet. Why do I feel like if you weren't doing this, you'd be one of those carnival ride operators, Anthony? Yeah, I could be. You got that look about you. I got that, you know. Hey, come on. You're from Patcha Hug. Give, right just give the cute girl the free ride. <laughs> that is like 14-year-old girls. <laughs> hey, you're cute girls. <laughs> Go out later. <laughs> ah, I love it. What's wrong with a few statutory rape charges in various <laughs> cities that this roving carnival uh, <laughs> goes to? <laughs> They'll never catch me. <laughs> I told you, Opie, uh, Anthony's brother beat up my cousin one time. Uh, from yeah. Years ago. I really? Know, years ago. In Patchogue or in the Wait, or, uh, somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, I think. One of these hillbilly towns. One of those from Ice Lift or yeah. somewhere. He gave my cousin a nice thumping. A little f sound what, thrashing. What, 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 what reason? I think he was being a dick. He might well. Of I course, think you look. That's your family, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I pay for it. There's the Irish against the Italians. Uh, it, had to, uh, it had to go down. Really? Yeah. I heard that one. Yeah, there was something going on there, and Joe had a pummel. Him. <laughs> That's all right. Later, my uh, mother decided she had to move us to a cheaper place, so we moved to Central Islip, which I just, yeah. Then I got my ass kicked yeah. constantly. Yeah, Give me 50 cent. That's what I heard every day. Give me 50 cent. Like, okay, please don't be a Hell, you give it to him? I have to. No, you don't. You stand up for yourself. It's prison. <laughs> you say no. I was in <laughs> elementary I prison. That's what I was in. I yeah, was in CIA elementary is. prison. CI is yeah. hardcore. Oh. You have to give them the money. Jeez. You, you got to give them the 50 them cents. Sexual favors like you. <laughs> <laughs> you just I, I have a better idea than 50 cents. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded that if baby body wasn't nervously shifting his feet while he said it. <laughs> I had no, my <laughs> legs are. <laughs> Shut up, tall baby body. <laughs> his, knee, his knee is still uh, healing. Good. That's right. Knee? As soon as it heals, I want to smash it with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it heals, he's scheduled to be slaughtered by a Cambodian village ritually. <laughs> 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 That's right, Brando. You heard him. I, I heard him. And he, he really has got some good ones. <laughs> well, I wish you didn't tell him I was going to be in. He was, up, he was up all night writing. <laughs> Are you an assassin, Willard? <laughs> all right. Well, we got the update on the feet girl. Yeah, let's hear about her. Feet, feet girl update. The girl whose feet were severed while riding on this Six Flags ride in Kentucky is now in stable condition. In wobbly in condition. From Vanderbilt <laughs> University Medical Center, where 13-year-old Caitlin Lassiter is being treated, hospital management said the parents of Caitlin Lassiter would like to acknowledge everyone across the country that have been supporting their daughter with many positive thoughts and prayers over the last six days. What, did they hmm. reattach the feet or not? They haven't said, and they won't say. They said, uh, uh, "How are you going to reattach the feet?" I don't Stupid. Know. I, I, they they Impossible. they gathered them up and took them to the hospital. Procedure? I don't know. I'm they, sure some type of <laughs> microsurgery, I yeah. think. Uh, with a needle and thread, <laughs> uh, <laughs> glue and a hot gun. Uh, they hot glue just, gonna have gun. <laughs> just just gray dead feet. Oh, sh <laughs> they're gonna look awful. Where, where they put Franken them on a little feet. crooked. <laughs> 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 pointing left. Yeah, they put. Them <laughs> 
I want to put him on backwards just to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can make money off it. What did you say? Like a freak show. Caitlin's parents would like to state for the record that despite claims in the media by representatives from Kentucky Kingdom Theme Park, at no time has any representative of the theme park been in touch with members of the family. No. That prompted Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom to release this statement. Representatives from Kentucky Kingdom traveled to the hospital immediately following the accident and were there for some time before the family requested that they leave. We are deeply saddened by this incident and, of course, have genuine concern for the well-being of the entire family. Oh. Yeah, that means his lawyer was like, get him out of here. Jack. Get him out of here. mess up the case. Don't screw up the case. we got a good one here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd lose a couple of sheets for that type of money. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ed. You deserve more than a thousand. Oh, oh, very good. I'm not saying it was a prior bit, but it should have been short. Just on, on timing alone. That wasn't me laughing. It was his feet. <laughs> it just wasn't it good enough for that setup. That was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dear Bob. He's already almost crushed his knees with that damn uh, thing. Now his feet are going to go in. <laughs> It's like a. I don't want to just tee a box. <laughs> yeah. It's like an avalanche onto a tent when he walks. <laughs> I can't just be bash Bob Day. You're right. Yeah, yeah let's I drop that. Bob and he turned on me. Uh, Bob I had yeah. to do something, Jim. Bob looks hurt. <laughs> no, I'm good. Are you I'm hurt? Good. I'm liking it. I'm I liking think Jimmy was actually <laughs> complimenting you when he said, I think you lost I some weight. I actually thought he did lose some weight. How would you think Don, uh, Colin lost a few or gained a few? Colin's the same. Colin the same looks the same, 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 same as he did last time. Same as what? An elephant? No, he doesn't look any heavier. <laughs> well, he's not an elephant. He doesn't even have a receding hairline. His head just got so fat. <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Wow. wow. There's, no, there's no need for that. That's uncalled for from, really the, from the Iranian Kevin James. It really hurts. <laughs> 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 All right, fat Keith Sutherland. <laughs> oh, you want to go for the oldies? All right. All right, Margaret Cho. <laughs> 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 and the worst thing is we can't even see each other's faces. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so just we're not even looking at each other. We're so used to talking on the phone doing the same thing. It doesn't, <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter. You're used I, to this. I tell you, if I, sh if I let you listen to his, his voicemail message, I could actually have him brought up on charges. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to break. <laughs> Regroup here. Oh. Colin Quinn, Caroline. Yeah. Tomorrow's <laughs> Yeah. It's my yeah. final performance, Caroline. I'm retiring after this one. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Doubt that. No. Why? Uh, why? I got a lot of good things happening. A lot yeah. of good big things. Yeah? Why? Up for a writing job on Flight of the Concords. Jimmy said he'll speak to somebody for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves that yeah, show. Yeah, submitting sketch ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, man. I love that show. They both look straight ahead. <laughs> That's ironic. They don't look at each other. That's crazy. That's ironic. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I mean, just two guys that communicate so naturally. <laughs> Very awkward. Awkward's always funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll continue on this fine whip em out Wednesday. Oh, by the way, it's also Butt Rub Wednesday, and we forgot to mention that it's also Cat Noise Wednesday. What? What happened? Where did the butt rub one come from? Uh, hold on. Of course, that piped him up. We have to. I rub butts with Eric. <laughs> what? Bare butts. What? Bob, you want to do a butt rub with somebody? No, because my hair it. will get tangled in his hair. <laughs> I don't have hair. He doesn't have hair. No, it's with it's with Jimmy. No, I'm Jimmy's the star of Butt Rub Wednesday. I don't like yeah. Jimmy's bum because it's always red in <laughs> <laughs> like a baboon. Yeah, it's always got a red like circle near the. No, the, it doesn't. The well, because it's recently been swatted, probably. <laughs> it looks oh, yeah, he exactly. Goes. It's always. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like veal, like uncooked veal. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy can't just hang a normal moon. Uh, no, <laughs> he's got to grab his hand and just pull like it's taffy, like it's a taffy pull. Speaking of which, we went to uh, I forgot their names already. Uh, Eastside Dave and Casey's wedding. Yeah, yes. on the Ron and Fez show, and they had the camera on the table. Oh my yeah. god! And you got so excited when I showed you the camera, you know. You know, they leave the camera on the, all the tables so people can take pictures of each other and then they collect them up and they have wedding pictures of their guests. Yeah. So Jimmy saw the camera, got so excited, ran in the bathroom with uh, Keith the cop. Keith the cop ran in and uh, there's three great shots. Uh, two taken by me on the downward angle of uh, great. You can see, like, just a liquid. It's really yeah. things are happening. And one Keith got of me. I pulled down my pants. And I bent over and just took both hands and went, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an, an open yawn shot. <laughs> a colonoscopy. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looked like you were singing opera. <laughs> really wonderful. <laughs> 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 me, 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 
nerd. I don't have to work anymore. They only expect one from me a day. <laughs> All right, Colin Quinn, Caroline, Bob Kelly doing uh, our thing uh, Saturday, and we'll continue uh, with Cat Noise Wednesday. <laughs> Now? I think Colin's going to do like a little butt rub, though. It kind of bothers me. I really want uh, a butt rub to happen. We all call it good. No, he's still on. I'm going to tell him about the old ups and go back. I know. It's so frustrating. He's like hanging out with Mickey Mantle in the old days. Are we off? Is this done? Can I get a beer? <laughs> Where's my donut? Shut up. <laughs> That's it. Head. He wants to eat. Don't get greedy. You're doing good. Thanks. You're Jimmy, right. you're be awesome. Jimmy's willing to do one more butt rub. For yeah, my, what is a butt rub? Why don't you get, just, just do it, I know. I can do it. Get up ass. and pull what your what pants down. What if you see E-Rock do it again? Yeah, to like prove to, that I'd we're like doing the butt rub. E-Rock, butt rub. Come on. It's for Colin. Come on. It's for Colin. Can I do it for Colin? You did it earlier. No cameras. Just do it real fast. Just stare at Colin. on camera. Iraq, just do it, Iraq. Because I want to. I want to. Colin, Iraq, stare in the face of our lovely young intern, and just don't think about another uh, man. Think might, about a, a woman. She might have to leave. She's gorgeous. Why? Why? Are you are you cool with this? All right. Obi. No, she's cool. No, I mean, good. It's just, no, she's all right, man. Trust me, the crap we have to deal I know. with behind the scenes. Iraq, get the Come on, Iraq. Butt rub Wednesday. This Wait, is all it is, Bob. The butt. There's butt Jimmy's butt is out. Wait, wait. Rocks is out, and then <laughs> that has no. You didn't rub. Hey, you rub. You, you didn't rub. rub. You rub. It's not. A Rock. I you saw. You never rub. It's not butt touch. You got to be a rock. Lift your shirt up. Uh, oh God, they rub. <laughs> I thought it was lovely. I was <laughs> not only did we rub them. That was a charming moment. Actually. Not only did we rub them, <laughs> but I felt both cheeks pressed together. And, and then both separated slightly, and then we stopped. It was very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> you opened your bum with another man's bum. I wouldn't say opened, but both just went <laughs> like a little yawn. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. So what do you think, Bob? That's all it is. It's butt yeah. rub Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen, and I'm awful. I was kissed on the neck by a priest. Huh? He goes, it's the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen. I was kissed on the neck by a priest. Bob got, Bob tell me story. He actually got, uh, all right, after the break. Uh, good keys. Good good keys. Colin knows how to do radio. Yeah. Now everyone's going to say, hey, hey this is Eric and Kathy. He's going to be master for 40 years. It's Opie and Anthony with uh, with the whole uh, oh part of the gag today. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Do we go with uh, with uh, bitter Colin Quinn, or do we go with the story that that you teased about Bob Kelly? Um, it's up to Bob. Bob, I like that story, but if you don't want to tell it, I understand. Well, uh, but bitter Colin Quinn is pretty good. You're, well, bitterness just kind of permeates. I mean, I have no particular story. I was just trying to warm up, but I can't wait. To to see Evan Almighty this weekend. I really think they'll hit it out of the park this time. <laughs> Thank God I'm out of the loop comedically because I don't know. I can't make some of the messages that have been coming out, you know. You don't understand why that movie's so uh, so popular as far as the TV commercials going on. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a real there's a lot of real knee slappers going on here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would take more than a movie bombing for me to be happy at this point. <laughs> a lot of people would have to die <laughs> in a horrible... How about if at the premiere of Evan Almighty there was a fire at all entrances? Yes, that would be good. Oh, and they were blocked. Doors were blocked, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah um, people you know. screw. <laughs> all right. You're right. You no, they, they all get out safe. Getting out safely. In the and that would be ironic because he plays Noah in the movie. And uh, oh. if you've seen the preview, you've seen the whole movie. They decided not to leave anything to the imagination for some reason. Well, with a movie like that. Yeah, yeah good point. It makes me laugh every time. Oh. It makes me laugh on uh, movies on demand when they go, actually, this wouldn't be the first time Hugh Grant has slept with a clown. Wouldn't be the first time there's a clown in my bed. I want to see that, uh, one, but I want to wait till the kids are in bed. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Hugh Grant, um, just probably the best actor of it's our not, You know our what? Time. It's not even just Hugh Grant, because Hugh Grant, I guess, you know, we like the fact that he got caught with a hooker, but yeah. just the, what he represents, which is that whole Notting Hill horror, f you know, this wacky best friend movie, and then the girl, and the, oh, just make, and then at the end, they always play that. Uh, you know, so glad we may give me some loving, and everybody <laughs> runs around in a circle, and I'm trying to kill myself. I, I, I really am going to go on a rampage very shortly. I cannot sit through, I have not sat through uh, uh, one of his movies. They are so boring. Just the bore fest of him with that accent and his dry delivery on everything. It oh. Oh. It's like, like a canned ham and a paparazzi. Oh. <laughs> The real Hugh Grant, much better than the one on the, in the movies. And Bob, the do you have a story for us? Or you that was actually hot beans and stuff. Oh, whatever. Yeah. And a ham. There was, I think what happened to Bob Kelly's fat belly cam? 
Oh, what did you do? Bob. What did you see what that, you Bob? I got fat belly cam today. What do you have for everybody Kelly on Fat Kelly Fat Belly Cam. Well, fat you, Belly Cam. You should ask me. All right, I'm not, your pet. I'm not your pet redhead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> play along. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I, uh, wow. I don't like that he's actually he keeps turning it back. That's what's crazy. <laughs> it like, just keeps coming it's back. Like you're loving Fat Belly Cam on Pal Talk. Yeah. I feel like I'm in <laughs> like a sci-fi movie. <laughs> I keep turning it. Really require a special camera to catch his belly. <laughs> <laughs> I will yes. take. I was how about just a nice long aerial shot of the room. <laughs> I would love to take my shirt off and compare. Torso. I know you would, Vanessa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See those nice brown nipples of yours, oh. but <laughs> <laughs> your blotchy fat tits. I would love to show everybody on Pal Talk. Uh, <laughs> They're no, just I, red and white like and back to like red. My tits are like Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> your, your tits. Your tits you look like. Oh, sorry. Your yeah. Why don't you just look. Here's Let them dump out the last I'm 10 sorry. minutes of the show. I mean, yeah. hilarious well, stuff, but they're dumping out. Your yeah, your uh, your uh, <laughs> pecs. Can I say pecs? Yes. Well, your pecs look say like pectorals. They, just, they just look like they ran a marathon. Why are you wow. manipulating? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh, yeah. That goes Holiday. He's on the track. He's at the wall. She's gone. The milkman delivered. No. <laughs> what are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great one. <laughs> I love that one. That's our, that's our new one. Man. I love that one. I still like the hockey one the best. No, no. Oh my, I tell you something. How does that not go in? <laughs> that was great. That's, I like this one. Back goes Griffey looking up, and it's out of here. Or is it? No, it's off the wall. My mistake. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> not quite. Oh, no. I'll say the worst part of that awful joke is my polite. <laughs> I just it at myself. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right, so it's so hard for us to tell since you're always clearing some muci out of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell if you're reacting or surviving. Because you <laughs> underhooked your nozzles from the mothership. <laughs> what? All right, what are you getting? Nozzles? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Does anybody remember laughter? <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> I'm going high. I made an ass. Oh, All right with the buttons. Wow. I'm sorry, I did that. <laughs> I tell you, I'm right with the buttons. But I did. <laughs> Voss must fear this show. Those kind of funny uh, <laughs> burns. <laughs> Every third one of Voss's dies like that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was a woman falling off stage. She stage dived. Oh, she stage right, dove. Yeah, she went to, she to stage dive, and uh, no one was there to catch her. And the, I, I swear, and that's this is the sound. <laughs> I want to hear the story. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, you got to hear with the music, though. She's rocking. The music so bad. And then decides so at the end of the song to jump off the stage. Listen to She's this. hot, though. The music is awful. It's worth waiting for. The most horrifying part is that music sounds like like Hillary Duff being raped by Akon. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hillary Duff being seduced by Akon is what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse in some ways. <laughs> it's more offensive. We apologize for bitter, bitter Colin. I take it back. Hey, what about uh, this story? Are we going with the story or not? Yeah, I want to hear. Bob, what Colin is some kind enough. of story. I don't know if you should tell the story now in light of the new climate. Yeah, that's all I was worried about, the new climate. Bob is just manipulating you himself. You know what I'm saying, like, your, your hand. I'm just watching you on um, uh, Bob <laughs> Kelly <laughs> fat belly cam. <laughs> and that's kind of creepy that you're doing that. And you're like, <laughs> your hand is in your lap. And and your thumb yep. and and the rest of your fingers are making this grip, grip, grip movement. I don't understand oh. what you're doing in that oh, seat. Don't mind. He's, he's like, I don't you mind your business. He's like, I. How's that sound? That that, that pal talk cam isn't for you. It's for the losers and cubes right now that need something to do and they want to look at my fat stomach. So I'm giving a little extra right now. <laughs> it's, like it's like one, it's one of the stars of the show. Hong Kong casino manager. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Mr. Bob, they're hitting on 16. I think you got card counting. <laughs> I'm all for card counting. You are? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, of course. How can they make that illegal? It's legal. There I want to know the story. If you, if you I don't know if we should. Yeah, honestly, you should wait to the break in light of yeah. today's Well, culture. it'll be gone by then. There's no yeah, more. Yeah, is it a good can, story, can Bob? You start slowly. What about the no, 10 o'clock? It wasn't even. I mean, Colin has a better story than me, for God's sake. What is yours? But yours is just more. What you told me happened last week is in the paper. 
No, he's not. He oh, was. my no, God. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <Get laughs> right. All right, here's what happened. Story? Iraq I'll had it up quick. Uh, Iraq uh, had a Zoom uh, in. Uh, hold on, there's too much going on. Sorry, I just got to say, Iraq just Zoomed in more on Bob Kelly's belly, and I swear I just saw Porkin's ship crash into it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you're lucky Opie saved you right at the end of that. <laughs> uh, every friggin' Star Wars fan is laughing. Look, I'm getting LOLs there, uh, see? up the yin yang. The geeks are laughing at him. Star Wars reference. Uh, it's I, a Star oh, Wars I reference. I had a lightsaber. I'd cut your feet off. What's I was light- saying that What's your light belly saber? is as big a as a lightsaber. <laughs> I called it a is lightsaber. That, no, no, no. I meant the candy that you get. <laughs> a lightsaber. <laughs> I meant the candy. Oh, my God. It's fun filled candy. You know what? Oh, you just have to throw it really hard <laughs> to remove the feet. I was just implying that his belly looked like the Death Star. A lightsaver. <laughs> a lightsaver. Oh, 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 I tried. I, I swung and missed, man. All right, what's, uh, All right, what's the story? What are you doing? Oh, I hear the story. Why are you standing up for Why are you putting your hands in your pocket? Oh, yeah. yeah. I say priest, and you all of a sudden stop putting your hands in your pocket. Why do you hear the story? Right. Not that I did. Uh, go. I had to call and settle it. A priest once kissed him on the neck, so then, you Jesus, know. Jesus, do you have to jump right after you were Well, no, up. I'm saying. A setup. There's a story Robert, before what let happened. Let me bump. Okay, yes. Let the expert talk. When he calls yeah, me Bob, I shut up. Let, let the expert talk. Yes. Go ahead. Um, There's confidence in it. Long story short, whatever happened, he ended up getting kissed in the neck by a priest who he knew through various situations. And then he told me last week that same priest, you know, who he'd like to give him confession with, was uh, in the news, wasn't he? Yeah, he was he was caught up in that stuff uh, a few years ago in Bean Town. Oh, oh that stuff from Lester. Yeah. Was it one of the big ones? Because Bob was one of the yeah. most beautiful boys. If you ever saw him when he was younger, he was lovely. Yeah, I was around. I was actually around twenty-two. He had <laughs> a, actually in my beautiful days. He had a six-pack, a washboard stuff. Wait, Bob wait, was wait. a good-looking and a mullet. Let, you and let a, a priest kiss you on the neck I at twenty-two? Yeah. yeah, I let him. At twenty-two. At twenty-two. No, I was actually doing something. I can understand twelve. Let me let me, let me set it up. It was an intimate moment, and he ended up at the end. The guy hugs him, but then Bob just thinks he's hugging the priest because it's like a yeah. moment. Kiss him on the neck, and Bob was a very beautiful boy, as you know. Okay. I actually was doing something like almost like you know, con- like confessional type thing, you know. Like, yes. You know. I was confessing certain things, and it was like a big moment. Because, you know, I was... I mean, it I sounded got, like you deserved it, man. I got out of juvie yeah, hall. <laughs> I got out of juvie hall and that all was this. The, that was the government's first all mistake. Stuff. Like a spiritual wait, cleansing, in wait, a way. Wait, just wait. kind of... Whatever. Confession is good for the soul. <laughs> right. So I'm sitting there with them, and, uh, you know... First of all, we're sitting there for like an hour and a half. And in the middle of me purging the deepest, darkest secrets I had... I look, he's snoring. I look over, he actually fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's what really <laughs> happens. They don't give a crap. I was almost in tears, like, this is really hard for me. And I looked. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me, you know, Father. And he was like, oh, yes, yes. He yes. figures, why, does, why I, do I have to listen? God's yeah, listening yeah, to this stuff. Yeah, get to the stuff. Yeah, I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> and uh, we were there for like, oh, well, it was almost two hours. And it was like, okay. And it was like this really big moment for me and we stood up and he went to you know give me a nice hug and right at the last second we're hugging and I felt it I felt his hand you know when you hug the guy it's like you hug and it's done yeah. his hand kind of moved like it kind of ah squeezed where it kind of squeezed a little bit it like lifted and then went back on where wait can you on do my it back to, do it to Jimmy back. No, why not? Oh, All right. what? <laughs> All right, it has no. to be He rocks. Yeah, do it to Jimmy. All right, so. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> the okay, there was the hug. And then what? This was the hug. All right. All right. So far, so far, it's a it's a guy hug. Hang on, this, I, I'm being the priest. And yeah. Jimmy's. We being understand that. I can't believe. All right. You actually you explained that stupid. Yeah. To the people that can't see. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, but Opie just said that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we're on the radio, you moron. This isn't live television. All right. So you right. explaining it is really gonna that make was it three years, years ago. It. All right. It's let's over. Go. All right. <laughs> let's go. All right, Joe. And then he, and then he kind of like caressed your back a little yeah, bit. He did this, and, right. <laughs> and we're still hugging. Right. I'm not supposed to get turned on. I don't want to get. I'm not going to get. I'm not going to get the kiss. My ass is out. His ass was hanging out the whole time. Honest to God, that is probably one of the softest bums <laughs> I've oh, ever amazing. felt in my but life. But then he yeah. what? He then oh. needed like kind of like a cat. No, just, like, we were we were there just like probably around uh, three minutes too long. The hug was. <laughs> Can I say something? <laughs> three minutes. Can I say one thing that's been bothering me the whole show? Yeah. Is when Madonna says bum instead of butt. 
listen to English accents. Because I we're saying bum. <laughs> nobody wants to hear it. Uh, it I, we're not in England. Uh, because I, I messed up before and I said the. Uh, you could oh. say ass. I know, but I don't. I, I I'd rather pull way back and then you know loosen right. up a little bit. Uh. I got a little carried so away wait, with myself. How long did you hug this guy for, really? Uh, well, it was probably like it was a while, man. It was a good like it was a like a two hour emotional like spiritual moment. Were you crying? Uh, no. So and he was hugging you for th more than three thirty minutes. seconds of hugging. Oh yeah, more. And than then he was seconds. kneading your back with his fingers a little bit, and oh. then he kissed you on the neck. And, and then he like kissed he was you on the neck. Was it what kind well, of kiss was it? It was a very soft Ugh. south. Did he feel whiskers? Uh, no, but he really didn't have. You know, he had those priest lips with a real thin, kind of like Jimmy's lips. <laughs> how do you know what <laughs> priest lips? How old was he? He knows what priest lips. Yeah, but no priest lips. You know lips. that Irish Catholic <laughs> lip? There's no yeah. lip and they smile. And it, it's just gums and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> How old was he? Uh, he was old, gray hair, man. Who's an old priest? Yeah. Yeah. Great pubes. Was I turned on? No. I immediately, <laughs> what, the two hours of spiritual cleansing immediately got thrown in the toilet. Why? Because <laughs> he you? just kissed me on the the neck like like when the first girl I was ever with. you the toilet, Jim doesn't look at that as a negative. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you have a clear liquid on your thigh? Oh, for heaven's sake. All right. We got to go. There's our music. Norton actually, I mean, Colin was actually, uh, he cuddled and spooned. All right, we'll police. talk about that next. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's XM, XM material. <laughs> Sorry. We're going over to XM. Yeah. Thanks to the ladies on Pal Talk that have been wowing all morning. We got Colin Quinn in studio. He's going to go over to the other side with us. He's playing Caroline's here in New York City all weekend long, starting tomorrow night, Colin. Go Damn Colin. right. Colin, very Colin funny man. killed on this side of the show today. Very funny man, Colin Quinn. Side of the show we don't know about. Well, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Bye. Guys, thanks for your... Yeah, th uh, thanks. For whatever. We'll uh, see you see tomorrow you, if you're not bye joining everybody. us over there. All right. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.
He really does. Not spring for it either. It's free, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> spring for it? What are you doing? Old man trying to talk about the internet. Shut hey, up. He, he's talking about uh, GPS we have now. That's what you can buy. Put Colin's putting quarters in the vents to the monitor. <laughs> 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 spring for Mac. That's a good point, Bob. <laughs> good point. All right. Uh, let's see how to John in New York. John, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Oh, someone's got to hey. cover up this button. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Just in case. Ah. That's what uh, K Rock in New York City is playing. We're off the air. We're in the same studio, but this is what they're doing. But I think we're now yeah. live on K Rock. No, we're talking uh, through the song right, right now. Yeah, hear us? yeah, that's how close we are to getting fired because of some. No, that's not how that button works. All right. Uh, no. Way to get a wow. bit, you asshole. Jesus Whoa. Christ! Don't take Way to blow up my spot! I know. I was oh. making a bit. Steve and Than run in panicking. That's not how it works. No, it's fine. I will. I will have to. As much as I hate to, I will have to defend Than because I don't think he really thought that you were worried and he was trying to comfort you. Well, it's my acting. It's getting better. better. I got good acting. You can't be mad at him because you're a good actor. Does he know? He's just dumb. All right. Look at him. And, and I should apologize. Cause Mr. Fabersham, this button needs to be covered. <laughs> needs to be covered. Uh, I, I you. Big, tall, retarded Kevin Costner bumbled in. <laughs> <You're> okay, boss. <laughs> I do have to apologize, too, because he can kick my teeth out oh, without even can. trying. So. From there, a little spinning back kick. Let's be honest with each other here. And tell you what word you misspelled. <laughs> Why, is, is he a martial artist? Is that cause oh, he, boy. Is his Vietnamese last name? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's his, well, it's Nathaniel, and they call him Fan. Oh. We haven't been able to really figure that out yet. He looks like an, eight, like an 18th century painting. Ellie. <laughs> 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 like when, when, when fucking, when, when Jay Moore said he looked like John Olerud. <laughs> <laughs> he also said he looks like C-3PO. <laughs> an old John Olerud joke. But I really had a good laugh at John the thing. John Olerud, wow. <laughs> C-3PO. Oh, man. That was all right, Jay I, Moore. I apologize. I was just going for a little quick bit. And I, I believed you, actually. I, I did you? Yeah, 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 I did. Cause I, I, like, I don't think that's right, but I didn't know. I'm moving I on. believed you, too. I'm moving on from this radio thing. The acting is, is getting better. Well, it's ah. fantastic. Yeah. If you want, I can speak to. Uh, are they going to do cheaper by the dozen? Three. So <laughs> have some connections. <laughs> Be the youngest son, all grown up. <laughs> I want to see Greg Almighty. I want to see him in an action movie. Yeah. Yeah, like you're, you're the tough cop. Put a little dirt. Oh, on they got face. David Caruso doing all that crap already. Oh. 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 Right. Oh. You're younger than him. Let's do like an Opie and Anthony movie. Yeah, that's oh, what we want. You guys do. have to find. Well, a I have a buddy good. movie where we what? A buddy movie where you have to find. Uh, let's say Norton has AIDS, and you have to find the antidote by the end of the movie. <laughs> the <laughs> antidote for AIDS. Is this a documentary? Boy, that's gonna, be <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a boring movie. It's gonna be two hours of Ant and I just sitting around doing nothing. Doing <laughs> like no, a radio show. No. Wandering away. <laughs> Jimmy loses How weight by, this? by the minute. <laughs> It's like the, it's a combination of that, an action movie and the omen. We try to figure out, you know, the liver spots on Norton's head. <laughs> you try to figure. <laughs> you try to find a scratch off. It's like a scratch off lotto game. <laughs> and if and there's a six, <laughs> six six underneath, you win. Yes. And you guess you have people, real fans of, of Norton, come up and like try to scratch off his head. <laughs> that was kind of hurtful. Really. Stick a, GP hurtful. Hurtful. Yeah, a GPS tag on him and follow him around the ocean for a month. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you say. <laughs> you have got to oh, right. boy. Hey, uh, John in New York, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey there, Jan. Hey, John. All right. Wanted to hey. thank you guys for bringing back the Tuesday Night Hummer Club. It was a proud member initiated last night. Oh, very oh. nice. Who was the other guy? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little I 69 in as well. And all because of the radio show, right? That's right. I told her about it. It was very good. She was I don't know why we didn't bring back Hummer Tuesday. It's a great Tuesday way to break sooner. the ice. Hummer yeah. Tuesday is back. Thanks, guys. So we realized days of the week yeah. on radio, you have to have something for every day. And some shows just have one thing for, for a day. We're trying to pile on things so every day we have three, four, Thank five you, things for one day. What's soon. our biggest Get day? Merchandise. Well, Wednesday. 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 Whip them out Wednesday and butt rub Wednesday. Butt rub Wednesday. But, but then Jimmy, you know, he started something that's really not taking off. What, what is it? Cat noise Wednesday. I'm Cat noise Wednesday could that? fall by the wayside. I shouldn't. As I expect what is phone it? call Thursday, too. <laughs> Yeah, fo I think what we drop phone call Wednesday? Thursday tomorrow. What? What, what is Cat Noise Wednesday? Ask, ask the freaking inventor. Remember. 
You just make a cat noise. Oh. That sounds like something his girlfriend giggled at one night, and she said, do it, and he was too gutless to say no. <laughs> 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 all right, we've all been in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Colin. You hurt the whole room. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing really hard. I go, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah. Jimmy, would you like to do your cat noise for Colin? I don't, I don't remember it, but I don't like the fact that Fat Squee just made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was rather hurt. <laughs> yeah, don't get mad at us because we all have girlfriends, you lonely bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember cat noise uh, Wednesday. You made it up. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> no, but you yeah. had a nice cat noise. I think <laughs> you were doing the angry cat. Meow. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. That was it. That's my bit. Oh, very you angry. On, you should be on Eric and Kathy with that. What's up? I know that was good. People were like, no, it's like not. I heard cats. <laughs> yeah. I had some other ones, Oh, too. gosh, Jimmy. What else did I have? Oh, I had another one, too. See, How about Wednesday? Death Rattle Jim Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> well, we hear your death rattle and you die. Well, cat Noise Wednesday just not taking off. We I might know. We might have to scratch Horrendous. it off the list. We'll, we'll think oh. about it next Wednesday. I kind of liked it. It scared yeah, me. Yeah, there was also there was Water Shake Wednesday. That was supposed to be a big one. What's what that? was that? <laughs> just shakes his water. <laughs> yeah, I guess like the whole country will do it. Okay. All right, go. And everybody's riding around. That's like how you show solidarity for the radio. And we wonder why Colin Blunt is bitter. Thursday. Yeah, what? exactly. And we wonder why you're bitter, when, Colin. When Water Shake Wednesday is going to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love you to drown in your own blood tonight, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I can do to facilitate that, please tell me. Sit on my chest, that's so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dan is pointing out that tomorrow is a very busy show. We got Fun Fact Thursday. Fun Fact Thursday. We got Phone Call Thursday. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so uh, you, uh, Phone Call Thursday. You're missing one. That was mine, by the way. You're missing my invention that uh, that's taking off. Also, Perv News tomorrow. Oh, I know which one. Perv News Thursday and Camel Toe Thursday. Thank you. Camel but Toe that's Thursday. That's only male camel toes. Male oh. camel toe Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pull your pants up real tight <laughs> and wear sweatpants and put uh, one ball on each side. And it that's looks like hilarious. you got this big, flat camel toe. So wear your sweats tomorrow, yeah. uh, boys. Everyone wear your sweats because <laughs> it's Camel Toe Thursday. The star of Camel Toe Thursday was Nathaniel. Because it looked yeah. like he had a meat lasso on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it was really a yeah, it was that boy does have a cock. Oh, he, he wrecked it for everybody. We're all having fun, and then it was his turn. It was like, oh god. Yeah. He has a big piece. Uh, yeah, I, I got can't something really going on. Hey, he's not all ball. You six five? Yeah. I saw th I saw the head. It was somewhere. It was somewhere like down by mid thigh. It was really bothersome. <laughs> you could you stick a quarter in his hole? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see that. He wasn't wearing fucking, like, white sailor pants. Stick <laughs> 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 a quarter in his hole. <laughs> you ever see those fucking big open piss slits? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I say piss slit Tuesday. <laughs> you know, like, we open up someone's piss slit, and we go, <laughs> and you lick inside of it. <laughs> but you put vinegar on your tongue. So it's uncomfortable for both of you on some level. Dude, the, the, uh. the pictures that are up on opianthony.com of us doing the camel toes are disturbing. Yeah, there's Jimmy doing one, but it's from the side a little bit. You need the front view. Yeah, but front look at the view. face we're all making. Yeah, all <laughs> we're all creeped out. Because it's all happy. Everyone's having yeah. a good time. Yeah, yeah. And did you do one yet? No, I haven't done one because my pants are too tight. Why is there only one? That's picture? perfect. No, you need looser, like, sweatpants. Look at how creepy that looks. Ope was fucking, Ope had just a big taffy bag mush. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, well, let's say hi to James, the trucker. James? Hey, James. Hey. hey. How y'all doing, man? Jimmy, I can't Hi. let them call you fuck, man. Just for you, uh, from all the truckers, is a big old... And a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh. Why do they always stick up for Jimmy? Because they know Cat Noise Wednesday. Cat is, Noise is, Wednesday hits blows. And it's a ratings grabber. I like it. Don't do this to Jimmy. You Cat know, we got to load Wednesday. we gotta load the days up, but then slowly cull back some of the ones yeah. that aren't working. No. Hey, uh, and Jimmy Fallon's on Regis. He was just on our...